So myself, uh, Tharmalinga Puniyamurthy from Department of Chemistry, IIT Guwahati. I welcome you all to IIT Paul program. In this class, we will study about part two aromatic hydrocarbons. In the part one, we have seen uh, the structure and bonding, aromaticity, resonance and stability and preparation of benzene and the derivatives and their physical properties. So, in this class, we will study about the chemical properties of uh, benzene and their der derivatives. So, benzene can undergo substitution addition and oxidation reactions. And generally, simple benzene can undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution. This is called electrophilic substitution or electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And, and vigorous condition, this is not common and uh, certain conditions, vigorous conditions, benzene also can undergo addition reaction and oxidation reactions. And mainly, the aromatic electrophilic substitution is very popular to transform benzene to um, substituted benzenes. Let us look at first the electrophilic substitution reaction. And this we are going to look at it today. Nitration sulfonation. Halogenation alkylation acylation. So, these all reactions uh, involved um, take place via electrophilic substitution reactions. And they involve common uh, reaction pathway. First, the electrophile is produced in the reactions. Once the electrophile is generated, The benzene is a nucleophilic enough, reacts now with the electrophile and generates this intermediate. It forms this is called sigma complex. generate this carbonium and intermediate. Once you form this intermediate, they write in different way and sometimes they write like this. So, 
So, this, this uh, first you form this intermediate. So, once you form this intermediate, So, base can remove this proton, then you restore the aromaticity. So, it involves two steps and first you form this intermediate sigma complex or the intermediate. Once you form this one, then it can convert into the aromatic compound, what basically happens and the hydrogen atom which present in this carbon has been replaced, substituted by electrophile. Therefore, you see a called substitution reactions. Since it involves electrophile, it is called electrophilic substitution reaction. And when you talk about the rate of these two reactions, this is slow, this is fast. It involves two steps, this uh, reaction involves this reaction takes place, if you compare the rate of the reaction, this is a slow step, this is a fast step. This is a common mechanism is involved, the all electrophilic uh, substitution reactions, aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions. Now, let us go one by one, nitration. See acid base reaction and um, for example, when you react benzene with the nitric acid, the presence of sulfuric acid the nitration takes place to give nitrobenzene and this water is byproduct. Let me draw the mechanism of this reaction. In this, the OH group undergoes protonation and where the sulfuric acid acids acid and this acts as a base. It is a, in an equilibrium reaction, acid base reaction. We generate this intermediate. I make this OH as a good living group. In step 2, this is also an equilibrium reaction. It is a formation of nitronium ion plus water. So, this electrophile once form the uh, nitronium ion which can undergo reaction with your benzene.
you form this um, intermediate and once you form this one and now this can um, in step 4 T protonation using base can give the nitrobenzene. You need less catalytic amount of sulfuric acid in this reaction, it acts as a base, deprotonation of this species can um, uh, uh, regenerate the aromatic uh, ring, aromaticity of this compound and you end up with the product. It involves as you can see here, it involves four steps, say acid base reaction first step and this acts as a acid, uh, this acts as acid base and it makes um, protonation of this OH group, hydroxy of uh, nitric acid makes a good living group um, that can uh, generate the nitronium ion which is electrophile in this reaction. Once you form this one, and this benzene acts as a nucleophile, it can undergo um, reaction with the electrophile, you form this intermediate. Once you form the intermediate and the base can remove uh, this uh, proton and to, to uh, give the aromatic uh, nitro compound. The next reaction is sulfonation. So, in this reaction, one molecule of sulfuric acid acts as a base, another acts as a acid. So, this molecule can take this proton to form the electrophile Once if you have this one, form this one, this can push this one, you generate the electrophile. Plus. So, this is written, plus. this is electro electrophile in this reaction and you have generate water as byproduct. Again. Once you form the electrophile, as just we have seen in the case of nitration, it can react with benzene and um, you can make the sigma complex. Then whatever the intermediate where the hydrogen can be removed, this can act as a base. This one can remove the uh, proton, then you can get the sulfonated compound. The byproduct is going to be water. The mechanism will be similar in both cases and the case of nitration sulfuric acid is acts as catalyst. In other words, it acts as acid and the, the nitric acid pick up the proton from the um, sulfuric acid and forms convert into water and NO2 plus electrophile that undergoes reaction. In the case of sulfonation, 
and one of the sulfuric acid, um, one acts as a acid, another one acts as a base, you generate um, the electrophile then which undergoes reaction with your benzene and sulfonation takes place. The next example is halogenation. So, benzene can be converted into for example, to chlorobenzene when we react with C L 2 in the presence of Lewis acid like anhydrous aluminum chloride or F E C L 3, it can be converted into chlorobenzene and the byproduct will be H C L because it has two atoms one of one of the chlorine goes to here another chlorine goes here you generate HCl and regarding the mechanism this also involves two steps and the Cl2 this is a Lewis acid and it can react with aluminum to form C L plus electrophile and A L C L 4, you form this. First the formation of the electrophile takes place, once it forms as just we have seen it can react with your benzene you have this intermediate once you form this one, this can react with this can pick up the proton you get this is how the um, halogenation takes place. You can use anhydrous aluminum chloride or FeCl3 and so on. The next example is alkylation and oscillation reactions. For example, when you react chloromethane with benzene, the presence of aluminum chloride, it can be converted into methyl benzene and HCl. Just as we have seen just now, the case of chlorination, instead of one chlorine, now we have the methyl group, and this is the electrophile in this case, and the uh, substitution takes place. You can make alkyl benzene. And similarly, when you have chloroethane, you can convert it into ethyl benzene. However, when you go for larger alkyl halides, chloropropane
and we will have problem there and in this case when you react usually the isopropyl benzene is obtained as a product this is because you uh, first the aluminum chloride reacts with this one you form the uh, alkyl carbocation right in this case the electrophile is this one. So, these are the electrophiles in these reactions. First, the chloromethane is converted into um, uh, this methyl carbocation, and which is the electrophile undergoes substitution reaction. And in this case, um, if we form this primary carbocation once again that undergoes reaction. But in this case, what happens as soon as you form and this uh, propyl. Uh, carbocation, primary carbocation which undergoes rearrangement to more stable secondary carbocation before it undergoes substitution reaction. Once you form this one, this is the electrophile in this reaction, this undergoes reaction it gives the product. So, this, they have some limitation in the case of friedel craft this is called friedel craft um, alkylation. And then when simple like chloromethane, chloroethane is fine when you go for uh, larger alkyl halides there is a problem we will end up with mixture of compounds. Um, mainly this, this is called cumin in this case and um, the isopropyl benzene forms as a major compound this because how it happens and as soon as you form the carbocation which undergoes rearrangement and this is the actual electrophile in this then the substitution reaction takes place. And not necessary you should use uh, um, alkyl halide for the alkylation reactions. You can also use uh, alkenes. For example, if you have benzene propene and it can undergo readily alkylation in the presence of acid such as phosphoric acid to give isopropyl benzene. And at the beginning we have seen during the alkene um, um, reactivity of alkenes towards acids in this case what happens this alkene reacts with acid form propyl carbocation and this acts as electrophile in this case. So, uh, depends upon the reaction and uh, conditions and you can in the case of alkyl halide you have to use um, aluminum Lewis acid like aluminum chloride and uh, so in case you can also use alkene as a source to make alkyl benzene is also uh, electrophilic um, alkylation reaction. Next acylation. Just we have seen alkylation using aluminum chloride and if instead of alkyl halide if you use acyl halide for example, acetyl chloride it can undergo substitution reaction with the benzene to give astrophenone and the acetyl chloride can react with benzene to give astrophenone and the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride. And here what happens first as we have seen earlier
the acetyl chloride reacts with aluminum chloride to give the acyl carbocation and this acts as a electrophile. The substitution reaction takes place once undergoes uh, first uh, benzene reacts you generate the sigma complex as we have seen then this can remove the proton and do you generate in this case HCl as a byproduct. If we use acetyl chloride you get astrophen uh, astrophenone if you use another other carboxylic uh, for example uh, benzyl chloride you will get the benzophenone in the case. So, it is very very useful reaction and uh, um, uh, is very um, uh, useful reaction to make uh, ketones. Next addition reaction and the vigorous conditions benzene can be converted into cyclohexane. By reduction using nickel catalyst In this case the hydrogen undergoes addition to the benzene and you need 3 molecule of hydrogen to uh, give cyclohexane. This is an example for addition reaction under vigorous conditions this takes place. Benzene also can be reacted with chlorine the presence of light to give hexachlorocyclohexane. So, in this case what happens is addition reaction and the chlorine in the presence of light undergoes homolysis to generate C L radical this C L radical reacts with the benzene to form this radical intermediate this radical intermediate this is called initiation step just we have seen the beginning of uh, um, the reaction with alkanes the chlorine can undergo homolysis to generate chlorine radical that radical can undergo addition reaction with this um, benzene to form uh, this radical secondary radical intermediate this is called propagation step. this is a chain initiation propagation once you form this radical this radical can react with the C L dot to give this dihalo derivatives this again can react with the radical and go on like this and you form this hexachlorocyclohexane. This is once the radical the substrate is consumed 
then the two radical can combine together Cl dot the reaction can be stopped. This is a radical process and this is we use as insecticide. So, these two are an examples for addition reactions. These reactions as you can see here takes place under vigorous conditions right. The we, when we saw the electrophilic substitution reactions they are very reactive you have to do under milder conditions and easy to handle, but this one you have to do under high pressure hydrogenation reactions. Similarly, then you have to irradiate under light UV light and then you generally form the radical reaction then once form the radical which undergoes reaction you get the hexachlorobenzene. cyclohexane. The next is oxidation of benzene. Benzene can be completely oxidized to carbon dioxide plus water. So, benzene also can be oxidized to partially to malic anhydride when you react benzene in the presence of vanadium pentoxide. Partially, what you do? You generate and 4 molecule of water or carbon dioxide. These are examples for oxidation reactions. This is a partial oxidation and this is ox complete oxidation of benzene to um, carbon dioxide and water. So far we have seen um, the chemical properties of benzene. If it is a simple benzene it can be readily converted into substituted benzene using electrophilic uh, substitution reactions where we have seen nitration, sulfonation, halogenation, alkylation and acylation. Then we have seen um, addition reactions which are not popular however, at an high pressure and catalytic conditions um, aromatic hydrocarbons can be reduced to alkanes. We have seen example the transformation of benzene to alkane using nickel catalyst under hydrogen pressure. Then we have seen one example for um, um, free radical addition of halogen uh, chlorine to benzene to form hexachlorocyclohexane. Uh, then we have seen um, example for oxidation reactions. Two examples we have seen one is complete oxidation confusion that is called and oxidation of benzene to carbon dioxide and water. Then another one we have seen uh, partial oxidation uh, benzene to malic anhydride uh, using vanadium pentoxide. Uh, this reaction is carried out around uh, 450 degree Celsius and where you generate uh, carbon dioxide water as byproduct. Uh, these reactions are carried out under of course, as you can see here under excess oxygen pressure. And simple mono substitution reactions fine in the case of electrophilic substitution reaction. On the other hand, if the benzene has substituent already, so let us see the effect of substituent in the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions. For example, if the substrate already has substituent like electron withdrawing group, let us take this example. Nitrobenzene. So, the, the structure of nitrobenzene is hybrid of the following uh, resonance structures.
if you look at the resonance structures, you can find and the electron density at the ortho and para carbon atoms is less comparing to the meta carbon atom. Therefore, whenever you do the electrophilic substitution reaction with the benzene ring that contains electron withdrawing group, here NO2 is a electron withdrawing group. The electrophile undergoes substitution at carbon at uh, meta position, not ortho and para position, because as you can see here, the electron density, if you write the resonance structures of this nitrobenzene, you can see here the electron density at the ortho and para position is less comparing to the meta position. Therefore, and for example, if you do the nitration in this system, so you will end up with metronitrobenzene as a product in comparing to the ortho and para nitro um, uh, dinitrobenzene because the electron density at this carbon atom is less when you have the electron with the dry group. Not only nitro group, when you have the cyano, CF3, aldehyde, ester and so these all are electron with the drying group. They can take electron from the benzene ring and um, so make um, the ortho and para position less electron um, um, density comparing to the meta position. Therefore, the substitution selectively takes place meta position. This is called meta directing group. Now, let us take one more example that contain electron donating group. For example, benzene that contain amide functional group. This is the electron donating group, whether methoxy, hydroxy or amine which contain that uh, uh, amide functionality, this or electron donating group. And in this case, and this lone pair of nitrogen can um, um, delocalize to form the following uh, structures. If you look at these structures, as you can see here, in this case, the electron density is more at the ortho and para position. If you can see here, the ortho carbon has more electron density and para carbon also. Therefore, whenever you have this kind of substituent in the benzene ring, if you do the electrophilic substitution with these substrates and selectively the electrophile undergoes reaction at ortho and the para position to give. Uh, mixture of compounds most of the times and uh, usually the reaction does not take place and meta position this because you have more electron density at the ortho and para position. So, this is called ortho and para directing group whether when you have OH group or methoxy group or alkyl group or amide 
for example these are called ortho and beta directing group because as you can see here um, this is uh, the structure this um, um, the amide is the structure of uh, the resonance structure of the following hybrid of, of the following resonance structures as you can he see here once if you have the substituent the electron density at the ortho and para position higher than meta position therefore selectively the electrolytic substitution takes place at uh, ortho and para position comparing to uh, meta positions and similarly when you have the oh group methoxy and methyl and any um, you will get similar kind of results uh, let me take uh, uh, one example and if you do the nitration of uh, this substrate just we have seen uh, um, the nitration of nitrobenzene and when you do the nitration of this substrate and you will get a mixture of compound On the other hand, just we have seen if you do the nitration with the nitro benzene, so we will end up with meta nitro benzene. So, these uh, reactions clearly um, um, suggest that and it depends upon the substituent present whether the electron donating group usually the electrophile undergoes substitution reaction at ortho or para position on the other hand if you have electron withdrawing group the substitution selectively takes place in meta position this is because just we have seen when you write the resonance structures you can find out the electron density um, different in this carbon atoms when you have the electron donating group and the ortho and para ca carbon atoms have more electron density compared to the meta therefore the electrophile undergoes substitution at ortho and para positions on the other hand when you have the electron withdrawing group and uh, uh, the meta carbon has more electron density comparing to ortho and para therefore the electrolytic substitution takes place at meta position in summary in the part 2 we have seen the chemical properties of uh, um, aromatic uh, substrates uh, we have seen um, uh, different types of electrophilic substitution reactions. We have seen nitration, sulfonation, chlorination. Then we have seen alkylation, acylation reactions. Then we have seen two examples for addition reactions and these addition reactions are carried out under vigorous conditions and one example is hydrogenation of benzene to alkane using nickel catalyst. The other example what we have seen is addition of free radical to benzene to produce hexachlorocyclohexene which we use as insecticide these two are addition reactions. Then we have seen oxidation reactions that also depends upon the reaction conditions and uh, you can um, completely oxidize benzene to carbon dioxide or um, you can also partially oxidize benzene to malic anhydride this is one of the examples similarly you can also oxidize benzene to um, um, aldehydes uh, clay axel using um, um, ozone and zinc um, reduction process and this is called partial oxidation and then we have seen um, the effect of uh, directing group present in the benzene ring and if simple benzene and uh, selectively one of the hydrogen is replaced by substitution reaction on the other hand if substituted benzene and the substituent present can um, dictate the position of the substitution uh, the, um, the nature of the substitution reactions. For example, if you have the electron withdrawing group usually and the electrophilic substitution will take place at third carbon atom that is called meta substitution. On the other hand if your benzene has electron donating group 
and the substitution takes place either at carbon 2 or 4 or mixture both and um, this is um, called ortho and para substitution reactions with this we conclude thank you very much